Well, we're out here getting our scrapping on. Found a couple beach chairs so far. Is it a paper shredder? Is it full of paper? People always leave them full of paper. This one feels like it's not. Come on, tank. Come on. Got the important part. Looks like we got an expensive clothes hanger. Oh man, that thing looks pricey. This thing looks extremely expensive. Oh, it's heavy too. Sheesh. That looks extremely expensive. <laughs> it's probably like a $500 exercise bike or more. You know it ain't got a battery in it. It's actually in really good shape. Somebody cut the wires too. Oh, look at that. A bit of cast aluminum in there. That sucks, that thing's in pretty good shape. Okay, so some actual nice pots, actually. What is this? Oil filter? What are these? BMX tubes? Bicycle tubes? Alright. I guess we'll take them. Might be able to sell them at the flea market. Probably take all those pots, too. Lee Mund Fitness. I'm gonna have to look that up. GT. All right, we'll grab all this stuff. There's a bike over, a bike wheel over here too. Oh man, that trash stinks. Starting to smell burning oil on the S10. Those valve cover gaskets are getting bad. That's a whole fiasco to take those things off because it's a Vortec. You gotta take the whole accessories set up off the front of the motor to get to them. That's going to be fun. These are kind of cute. If somebody wants them. Mm -hmm. A good one. Under Armour. It's all stained up. And eh, we'll leave it. Yeesh. Guys fighting over the trash cans? <laughs> well, we got another satisfied direct TV customer. Apparently. I was trying to look that bike up. Looks like it's about 400 bucks used. So, I don't know. Maybe we can get 200 for it. Maybe we can get 100. We'll see. It's nice enough to take to the market. Think they're still using them? Hot wheels. And help. What's going on here? A bike rack? Looks like it. Whoa. Ow. Oh, that mini ankle. Damn, that hurt. What's going on with this thing? What's going on with my tailgate? A couple different, couple different bike racks, I guess. Look 
looks like two bike racks. Alright. If it's clean, we'll take it. The lid busted. Yeah, the lid's broke. Believe it. That's why those old ones pull some good money online, right? It's 1979, the thing's still here and not broken. <laughs> oh, looks like we got a dolphin. Is it a dolphin? Active 2-0. Uh, I don't know what brand it is. Pool cleaner. Electric pool cleaner. It's actually pretty old. Matronics. Uh, eh. Fortunately, it's a little bit rusty. People will not buy them if they're rusty. Been my experience. But, Grab it anyway. At least it's weight. And we're back. <laughs> well, it wasn't too eventful, but we did get this nice exercise bike. So, I had to do a little bit more research. I did see another model of this. I, I thought I found the right one, but I might not. This tailgate keeps popping out, too. I don't know what's going on with that. But, uh... There's the number, I don't know. Model 15300-4. Made in China, obviously. But we got a couple things. That's that's at least a hundred dollars. I mean I'm gonna try for two, but that's at least a hundred. This one bike's not in bad shape, but it's missing the crank. This one's got some mixed match grips, bald tires. There's two bike racks in here that look like they're complete. So I'll have to check them out, make sure make sure they got all their parts and we can probably sell them. And this doll cage, unfortunately, is too rusty, I believe. A lot of people, you know, I've hauled them, they're rusty like this and they don't sell. So I'll probably just scrap it. I'll pull this tray out though and keep that in the garage because you never know when you need a good drip tray or clean some large engine parts or something on it it's better than making a mess on the floor put a pig mat in here and you know what i mean go to town and what else do we get we got a couple pots we got a croquet set a croquet set we got a fl 400s ford oil filter some inner tubes for bicycles so you can sell all that stuff probably keep this one my grandmother uh, plants cat grass for the cats for in the house, so it's kind of a nice, nice pot. We'll plant the cat grass in there. All right, y'all. We'll see what else we get into today. I don't know what. I know we got some doctor's appointments and some other stuff, so we will see y'all in the next one. And this looks like it's probably scrap. You see the webbing's ripping, so that thing's probably no good. Oh, well. We're heading out to do our lawn job. Well, a couple lawn jobs, but we can't we can't stop the scrap life, right? What do we got going on over here? We got a jump pack. Okay. I don't know what that thing is. That's a toaster oven. <laughs> the other thing looks like a book perforator or something, right? Like for those uh those plastic bindings. Is that what that is? It's my guess. I like trying to guess what things are. I don't know why it's it's fun for me. Is that what that is? Image Maker 1000. I don't know. Maybe it is a binder of some sort, but I don't think it's sellable.
not to scratch up the exercise bike too much here. This place looks like they're moving or something. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Can't stop, won't stop, right? Oh, we're out here. <laughs> Doesn't look too long. It is a little high, a little bit, but I think it's been two weeks, so. So we'll get up on the money printer and slice and dice it, right? <laughs> All right, y'all. Thanks for watching. I don't want to bore you with going in circles again. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe, leave a comment, check out the PayPal link. <laughs> we need a new truck, right? There's a few people out here in the YouTube world that needs a new truck, huh? All right, y'all. See you on the next one. Well, we got it knocked out. I'll tell you what, if you guys are on the fence on purchasing one of these with the My Ride, do whatever you got to do, man. Save up the extra grand, borrow the thousand dollars. It's extremely worth it. I mean, how much is your spine worth, right? I know mine's got to be worth a lot. I don't want to be messed up, that's for sure. That thing is a dream, man. Even if you have guys that you're paying to, to run your mowers, and you get the more commercial model, make sure you get that seat for them, man. It's going to up their productivity, that's for sure. I think it would be well worth it to keep them happy and not crippled, right? <laughs> it's crazy. Because you get out here on these open farm fields, man. It used to be plowed, and it is not smooth. It might be smooth in those commercial residential neighborhoods, but out here it ain't. I know, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff. They only pay me to hit it once. I don't I don't hit it twice. That was the price they wanted, so I told them I'm just going to knock it down one time and they're, they're good with that. Only thing I would change is more horsepower. There are times you get in the stick stuff. What's this one? 24.5. This is the the Toro engine. Really the next one if I buy another one in like 5 years, sell this one and buy another one, I'll get a you know, like a 37 horse EFI or something. And then this thing would be unstoppable, man. <laughs> it wouldn't even bog. You'd be shooting grass out seven and a half feet. <laughs>